वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो टूडे स्टूडेंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथड विच विल हेल्प यू टू फाइंड द फैक्टर्स ऑफ एनी नंबर इन सेकेंड्स आई हैव प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो अपलोडेड दिस वीडियो बट इन दैट वीडियो लॉट ऑफ यू ऑल हैव कॉमेंटेड दैट ऑल द नंबर्स टेक इन आर इवन नंबर्स सो वॉट हैपन्स वेन वी डू एन ऑड नंबर ओके सो फॉर दैट आई एम स्पेशली मेकिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वेर वी आर डीलिंग विद ओनली ऑड नंबर्स okay but before going ahead i would just like to like quickly revise what is a factor or what is the method of finding a factor so if you had to find the factor of the number 12 so what you should be doing is what we know that 1 divides 12 completely so 1 and 12 are the factors then we know that 2 and 6 because it's an even number so 2 and 6 are the factors 2 into 6 gets you 12 then the next number will be what 3 and 4 but that's it after that there are no numbers which are dividing completely dividing 12 completely okay so this is how you are going to find the factor of any given number now see understand you could also go ahead and do this long division method and then you get what 2 and 6 and then you get what 3 and 4 like that also you can do it's not wrong at all okay so um coming to the point where i was telling you that i'm going to deal with only even sorry even odd numbers so let's start with uh, 45 again so we know that what 1 and uh, 45 will be the factors okay please pay attention to the method of me writing these kind of factors okay because this is very very easy and it will help you to realize where to stop doing the factors see here we got 3 and 4 now we know that after 4 we get what 5 5 doesn't divide 12 and then after that we get 6 so again 6 is also taken care been taken care care of okay so you in with this method you will know where to stop as well okay so now here we know that 3 and 15 will get you what 45 3 into 4 3 into 15 gets you 45 and then we have what 5 into 9 so these are the factors why because after the number after 5 which gets you what is 6 6 doesn't divide 45 then we have 7 which again 7 doesn't divide 45 and 8 8 also doesn't divide 45 then we have 9 and then 9 after that we directly have 15 okay so everything is been taken care of okay so now let's look at um, another number we have 63 so 1 63 then we have 3 21 and then we have what 4 doesn't divide 63 5 doesn't 6 doesn't we have 7 so 7 and then we have 9 so now please understand we've got 9 over so the only number remaining is 8 and we know that 8 doesn't divide 63 so these are the factors for the number 63 now let's go to bigger numbers but before going ahead i would like to remind all of you all that if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also don't forget at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section so now let's look at a bigger number we have 189 again this is what 1 and 189 then this will be on uh, 3 and 63 then again 4 not possible 5 not possible 6 not possible 7 yes 7 is possible so we have 20 then 7s are and then 8 not possible 9 yes possible we'll get 21 10 not possible 11 um not possible 12 not possible <coughs> See, understand. Why am I discarding twelve, or why am I discarding, uh, say, number fourteen? Uh, I will discard fourteen also. Why? Because see, understand. What is fourteen? Fourteen is what? Fourteen is nothing but seven into two. So, if I had the factor of two over here, then I would have directly written fourteen. But we don't have two. We just have seven. So, I know that fourteen cannot be a factor for one eighty nine. Similarly, if twelve. Twelve is what? 3 into 4 or 2 into 6. So 2 into 6, so none of the numbers are there. And out of 3 into 4, only 3 is here. So from there also, I can completely discard 12. Again, I'll discard 15, 16. Correct? 
I just have to focus on all the prime numbers. Okay, so the number after 11 which comes is what? 13. 13 again doesn't divide this because uh, the rule doesn't fit for this one. And if you want to know what are the divisibility rules, I'll put a link for them on top or somewhere in the description. Please go ahead and check it out. So now then again 17 also doesn't work in this case. Um, 18 doesn't work. 19 doesn't work. 20 doesn't work. 20, of course 20 will not work. 21 doesn't work. No 21 will work and 21 has been taken care of. So here we can say these are the factors for the number which is 189. Okay, so now I think I think we have done enough of uh, uh, odd numbers. Let me take a big number 240, which is an even number. So we have 1 and then we have, let's say, 240. I'm going to write over here. Okay, then we have 2 and then we have 120. Then we have 3 and we have 80. Then we have 4, which gets you what? 60. Then we have 5 which is basically um 4 and 8 48 okay then we have 6 which gets you 40 then 7 doesn't work 8 uh, yes 8 will work which will get you 30 9 doesn't work 10 yes 10 will get you 24 so again then 11 will not work and then we'll get 12 and 12 will get you 20 okay and after that uh, we have 13 13 doesn't go 14 doesn't go 15 uh, yes 15 will go by because 3 and 5 are here so we'll write down okay here there's no space so 15 and we will have 16 with it so again 15 16 is taken care of so obviously after that we don't have to worry okay so basically these are the numbers which are the prime factors for the number 240 now coming to your diy i want you to tell me what are the factors of the number 96 do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today i will definitely see you in the next video and apart from this if you still have any doubts or if you have a better method then please let me know so in the comment section and you can also reach me out on my gmail which is what fast and easy maths at gmail okay so do let me know your uh, questions or your suggestions in that gmail as well okay so that's it for today i will definitely see you in the next video bye